We're pumping fire through a heart. I'm Amanda and I'm working on Pulse. We've been concepting around this since I think October or November. What came out in so many of the proposals that people put in was hearts. My name is Andrea and I'm a part of the Pulse team. We are making an anatomically correct heart out of mild steel and pulsing fire. It will be 11 foot tall, raised two feet off the ground, the heart itself will be nine foot tall. I'm Carolyn and I'm working on the electrical electronics geek side of Pulse. For me, one of my favorite things when I was a child was this big heart at the Franklin Institute. But the fact that it actually sounded, it had this wonderful thumping sound and you had this sense of actually being part of it. That was just an amazing experience. And that's something I want to bring to this particular project. The sense that you are part of this artwork. We're going to allow you to hook it up to your own body, ideally with a little stethoscope, but possibly with other sensors as well. And so you'll be able to actually run the pumping, the beating of the heart off of your own pulsing. Hi, I'm JDV with the Flaming Lettuce Girls. I've been with them for 12 years. Pulse will have some really new flame effects, as well as our signature poofing. We're trying to mimic the pulsation of the heart and make pulse really beat. We're the Flaming Lotus Girls, an all-volunteer group that started in San Francisco. For the most part, we're comprised of women. What I really like about the Flaming Lotus Girls is the fact that while there are men and women who belong to this volunteer-based organization, the women rule. It's an opportunity for women to feel empowered. When I first came here, I never, barely ever touched a power tool. And through the help of other Flaming Lotus girls, I was guided along a path of self-learning. Because there's a, real, a lot of support around what I don't know, I find that it gives me an opportunity to not be afraid to learn something new, to not feel like gender gets in the way for how I participate. Hi, my name is Kristen, and I'm a Flaming Lotus girl. I've been a Flaming Lotus girl for about two and a half years, and what I learned about building big art is that it's really, really expensive to build, especially when you're a volunteer-led organization like us. Uh, nobody gets paid to make this stuff, and uh, I think a very wise Flaming Lotus girl once said, metal does not fall from the sky, and thank God it doesn't. Uh, that being said, we need a lot of money to make this, this big art project. We can't do it without your donation, so, why don't you get that street cred and make sure that you donate to Flaming Lotus Girls and help us continue to build and teach other people how to make really awesome art. Although we want our debut at Burning Man, we are going to be there. <laughs> That's where our heart belongs. So we're also excited that this project will go beyond Burning Man. Um, our goal is to also make this piece that's easily transportable to bring to other events. We're calling out to all of our fans, whether you're already a fan or you're a soon-to-be fan, please donate so that we can create an amazing piece of art again this year to bring to you to participate and enjoy the warmth and heat and love of the Flaming Lotus Girls.